Welcome back, mates. Our animal today is the adorable koala. Everyone say, aww. aww. Now I have a question for you. Do you think koalas are bears? We tend to hear about the koala bear, but guess what? They actually aren't bears. They are actually marsupials. They have a pouch on their bellies, just like kangaroos. Now kangaroos and koalas aren't the only marsupials. There are hundreds of them. But here's a few more that you may be familiar with. The Tasmanian Devil, the Numbat, the Wombat, the Bilby, the Wallabies, and the cute, adorable little sugar glider. Marsupials all have a pouch. The mom's pouch has a ring of strong muscles around it that can tighten and seal off the opening, protecting the little baby from bouncing out. That can't happen because God made it with a built-in seal. Did you know that koalas are some of the pickiest eaters on the entire planet? Of all the food in the entire world, they pretty much only want to eat one, the leaves of the eucalyptus tree, which are poisonous to most other animals. So how do koalas eat them without being harmed? Well, God has actually given them a special digestive system with a cecum. Now the cecum breaks down the tough eucalyptus leaves and keep them from poisoning the koala. Other animals and humans have cecums but the koalas is the longest of any mammal. It's up to four times the length of a koala. Wow! This allows for extra digesting time for any food that passes through it. This special organ protects the koala from poison while also helping it get all the nutrition possible from the leaves it eats. And because they eat so many eucalyptus leaves, they even smell like eucalyptus. It's a good thing I don't smell like the food I eat because I eat a lot of pizza. Now eucalyptus smells a lot like a menthol cough drop. So the next time you eat one, think of the koala. <sighs> Did you know that koalas don't actually bother to drink water? The word koala actually means no drink. God gave the koala the ability to get enough water from the leaves that it eats. And it also has special fur that doesn't allow any water in its body to evaporate. They never sweat and this helps them to keep all of the water in their body that they need. <sighs> oh, hey guys. Did you know that a koala can sleep for up to 20 hours a day? They do this to conserve energy. If they were running around all day or climbing trees all throughout the afternoon, they need to eat a lot more food and drink a lot more water to give them the energy they need to keep going. But when they're sleeping, their bodies slow down and they don't need as much food. God sure knew what he was doing when he made the koala. God designed the koala with special feet that help them grip trees. Their front feet have special claws and two thumbs that help them hang on tight to tree branches. That's right, two thumbs. Now look at your hands and imagine each one having two thumbs. That'd be a total of four thumbs. Now rough pads on the bottom of the koala's feet help the koala to grip trees without falling. God sure is an amazing creator. He created Paula, the koala, and every other animal just the way he wanted them to be. He also created the first two people, Adam and Eve, perfectly. He gave them everything they needed to live for his glory and for their own good in his creation. But sadly, instead of honoring their creator and obeying him, they chose to disobey and their choice to sin affected all of creation. Their sin has been passed down to each and every one of us. We all choose to disobey God, don't we? God says to always tell the truth. Have you ever told a lie? Well, that's a sin. And our sin separates us from God because he is holy and pure. Thankfully, God sent his son Jesus to save us from our sin and to allow us to have a relationship with him both while we are here on earth and even after we die. When we repent of our sin and believe that Jesus died and rose from the grave to save us, we are given that amazing gift of eternal life. Now let's go out there and share that amazing news with our fellow image bearers.